Okay, so today I got a package in. Uh, Serial 9 Jay-Z engine mounts. This is my boy's engine mounts for his Jay-Z X100, made by a different company. That's by Kazama Auto. So really, I'm just going to do a quick comparison. He's letting me borrow these for the night, so that way we can look at the differences. Same, same engine mounts, right? Just different brands, different companies, a little bit differences. Uh, Serial 9, obviously. I got this for $250 took like maybe three weeks to ship i got it for 250 because i got the pre-order price now i think they cost around 275 uh pretty quick shipping again they ship from canada i live in tokyo this is going to go on my jzx 100 chaser this is gonna these kazama auto engine mounts are going to go on my boys jzx 100 mark ii so i really just wanted to see the differences between the two and that's why we're getting this video going on so let's go ahead and open this guy up so, so far I have a couple products from Serial 9. I'm incredibly impressed with just everything about them. They seem like a dope company and I'm really happy to support them. This just looks great. Feels great in my hands. It's pretty light actually, but you can tell it's a solid piece. So I'm pretty sure this is all like solid. I mean, I have no idea. Don't quote me on anything, but the inside's polyurethane if you take this stuff apart. Looks super cool. They got a couple options on these on their website. Uh, apparently Series 1 JZX90 has like one bolt on the bottom. And then Series 2 JZX90 and then all of JZX100 Series 1 and Series 2. It's these two bolts. Uh, they also have options for Aristos. I think that's pretty cool. Aristos are really clean vehicles. Love an Aristo. And then it just comes with a bunch of uh, other stuff in here. Stickers, off-road use thing. Pretty cool. This is probably gonna go on my vehicle in the next two days or so. I'm excited to see how it's gonna feel. A uh, little bit, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to install these. It'll be interesting, yeah. So these are the Kazama Auto engine mounts. Pretty sure it's the same ordeal going on in there. Solid piece either rubber or polyurethane inside right there. This one's got the two things on the bottom, one guy on the top. This is heavy. This is a solid piece. This is pretty, this is decently heavy. I don't know the exact price on these. He got those at the Tokyo Auto Salon. He also got uh, the transmission mount and I think even the carrier bearing. Interesting. Um, I'm excited to see what this is gonna transform the car into, how it's gonna feel with NVH. I once had a Focus ST back in the States and I did, uh, I forget the company now, it was so long ago, like maybe five years ago. I put like solid engine mounts or like that one solid engine mount, it transformed the car. It was, you could feel it. It was really cool though, it got rid of all the wheel hop that the Focus STs are like notorious for. But this is gonna be cool, I'm excited. I've, it's gonna be interesting to install, yeah.
All right, so I'm back at Joyful Honda. It's nighttime. I like coming here just because they got everything and the parking garage lighting is great at night. Uh, so today I installed the Serial 9 Jay-Z engine mount into my Jay-ZX100 chaser. Honestly, amazing install. It transformed the whole vehicle. It's in conjunction with the Serial 9 differential bushings. I have steering rack bushings. I have all new tie rods. What the hell is that? New OEM front upper control arms, OEM tie rods, just new bushings and ball joints almost everywhere on the vehicle. And the vehicle feels amazing with these Jay-Z engine mounts though. It's a whole nother level, level. They feel great, honestly. I'm not, it definitely adds to the NVH of just driving around everywhere. Uh, this is not a daily driver. This is like my weekend car. Um, it adds to the NVH though for sure Noise, vibration, and harshness From like idle to about 2000 RPMs You definitely feel them You can hear them But right after that I mean Barely notice that they're there You can still tell um, I think all the stuff that you feel You don't feel it in the whole cabin Like your radio's not shaking around Your coins aren't shaking around In your coin holder I think all you do feel is just through the pedal and through the steering wheel. That's where you really feel it. Great upgrade. I got mine for $250. That was the pre-order price. They ship from Canada. I live in Japan. Pretty fast shipping. I think now they cost $275. Um, I love it. Very easy install. I briefly covered it in the videos past this point. Um, 17 millimeter wrench for the top stubby it's gonna come off don't worry it's pretty easy let's see two 14 millimeters on the bottom i just impacted those off obviously i high loosened the area or wd-40 sprayed the whole area down i did have to drop the subframe what i ended up doing is there 17 millimeter or 19 millimeters i didn't get it on camera but there's four bolts holding the subframe uh, they're near the engine mounts There's a announcement going on out here. They're near the engine mounts on each side, right? So there's four total two on each side. It was really simple to undo them again spray the area down in high loosen or WD-40 and then I just I Zapped them out. I still left the 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 head of the nut on the stud so that way it didn't just fall completely and I did have it supported with a like an exhaust jack or you know that weird long red pole that jack i held it up in place and it gave me that extra like two centimeters that i needed in order to remove the the engine mount so my engine mounts i was inspecting them afterwards they look good um they didn't look horrible and destroyed like in other videos and pictures i've seen but it the upgrade feels amazing part of me thinks that somebody at some point an owner before me has done the engine mounts and they put the OEM engine mounts in just because of how easy it was to install and how good they looked for a 200 kilometer, 200,000 kilometer vehicle. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drive home now. I'll get some blow off valve noises and I'll get some anti lag noises. So, you're.